Hey Pisces, it's your girl Blue and I'm back with a message for us today. I hope that this message finds you well, my loves. And as always, if you are not feeling well, it's my intentions that you will be by the end of this reading. Come on over here now. I don't know why my camera looking all halfway, half cocked and stuff. All right, so come on in, y'all. Let's get these messages from Spirit. Shouts out to the VIP citizens, VIP 2.0 citizens and the Planeteers. I appreciate you guys so very much. Don't forget VIP 2.0s. We will be having our live session uh, where you get to ask Spirit your question on the last Wednesday of this month. Okay, so mark your calendars. It'll be at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I can't. Excuse me, I can't wait to see you guys. Dyer, Pisces, I love when this card falls out for us. Upgrades, it's time for the best. You understand me? No more settling. We deserve the best. I feel like the Pisces I'm picking up on today, you're recognizing, realizing, and um, really uh, coming into an understanding of your your greatness, your calling, your, your gift, your favor the favor on your life okay that's what i'm hearing all right i feel like the pisces i'm picking up on there is an imprint within you that is coming to the surface right there is a gift an ability uh a vision a sight something that's coming up i feel like this is something that is ingrained in your dna this is something that is ingrained i heard in your chromosomes okay <laughs> this is something that yeah like a purpose okay all right mm, all right spirit give me some messages for pisces please i take care of my body mind soul and spirit i honor myself okay come on now you also have i am actively reversing all curses i say all right. Also, mindfulness could be very, very important right now. It says come back into this present moment. Breathe. I'm sorry. And breathe slowly and deeply. Mindfulness. All right. Y'all know I got to pull out my books for you now. Okay. If you don't know what mindful mindfulness is, go check out Eckhart Tolle's book, The Power of Now. This book talked me off a ledge or two i'm just saying okay so let's see what messages come out for you here today spirit please i'm gonna get three of these cards dragons could be significant right now pisces all right just a quick message for us today all right On the bottom of the deck, you have standing up for your rights challenge. Hmm. Give me a minute. Somebody here is slaying a dragon, a demon, stepping into your power, calling. Okay, that's what I just heard. It's something here about somebody's calling. All right, I had some channel messages last night. I didn't know for sure if it was for this message, but Spirit just said, grab it. So um, I heard humanitarian last night, okay? So the energy that I was picking up on, I heard, um, you know, Michael Jackson's song, Heal the World, Make It a Better Place. For you and for me and the entire human race, there are people dying. If you care enough for the living, make better place for you and for me. Okay, so you could, like, you know what I'm saying? Be in that type of energy, like, you know, like you you know that you're here for a greater purpose. You are a giver, a lover. You um, take care of others. You may even put others before yourself, right? All right, but that's the energy that I was feeling. So I don't know, maybe I'm speaking to some humanitarian, somebody out there that's ready to save the world, okay? <laughs> you have here, I'm telling you, making a difference. What did I say? I'm telling you, okay? somebody here as you slay your demons okay somebody's story your story is gonna be known okay <laughs> all right okay it's like um 
the battles, the challenges, the struggles, your life, you understand? It's something about it being your pain, being purpose, your pain um, bringing you profit, okay? <laughs> All right, literally, we had a reading like that before, but it says miracle, making a difference, the number five, right? Anytime I see five, I always think of Oya. She's an Orisha, right? And she, in my opinion, is like the mother of change. She brings about change. I don't even think that's her number. But I all, and then it's purple. Like her color is one of her colors. Well, it's like lavender here. But um, miracle making a difference. Give me another one, please, spirit. It's somebody's destiny here. It's somebody's destiny here to make um, a difference in the world. And then you have reminiscing like, I feel like you've done this before in a previous life. I honestly do. As I said earlier, this is something that's in your DNA. It feels right to you. You like helping others. You love giving um, of yourself to help others. And not where you're pouring off into somebody else's cup first, right? No, we always pour off into our own cup first, right? We have to make sure our cup is full first. But you're doing that or you will be doing that okay all right give me two more spirit please all right lighthouse okay that's what i just heard the lighthouse all right something may seem kind of dark okay but it's something about a lighthouse or a light helping you okay you have freedom. Oh my God, breaking the chains. So you're reversing curses and you're breaking chains. Come on, Pisces. I love this. It's the number 24, right? Breaks down to number six. So you have five, then six, right? Taking the right steps to, oh yeah. Wow. guardian your guardian okay look at dude back there in the background you see him looking over this big old then look how big this dragon is why would he even need like a guardian right that's interesting to me let's see what else comes out one more please spirit for Pisces, we have miracle, freedom. Something is gonna happen all of a sudden too. Something, something that people may think is impossible is gonna be possible for you, Pisces. Somebody here has literally a guardian that's like <laughs> working overtime for you. One more, please, Spirit, for Pisces. Okay. Transformation. Defining yourself. Unicorns could be significant. All right, you could, people could call you a unicorn. Okay. There's another side of you that is coming to the surface. It's something about like dormant DNA or junk DNA or something about it's ingrained in you though. Like this is a part of you and something is about to light this shit on fire. Like real talk, independence on the bottom of the deck, carving your own path, Pisces. <sighs> Tell me about this miracle. I want to know how is this going to happen for you? All right. You have the seven of cups. I'm getting very much like daydreamy, okay? I'm getting very much like, yes, like a wish, okay? Imagination, okay? Something like that. Tell me about the miracle card for Pisces. It's something about you making sure you are honoring your body, your mind, your spirit, your intuition, okay? All right? It's something about clearing out the clutter as well, okay? Clearing out the smoke, the fog, okay? There is a clear path coming in for you, Pisces. You have a guardian that is moving shit out the way, bro. Like, real talk. 
Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Okay. You might be speechless or something. I don't know what this... The feeling that I just had over me is like something is guaranteed. Something is definite. You may not see it right now. Something is coming in. The glory. That's what I just heard. The glory of your splendor. Okay. Okay. Something is going to... Oh my God. Something is going to be super beautiful. And it's going to spread over the world. Okay. It's like a, I'm seeing like a blanket. All right, I don't know what this is though. Something's gonna spread. Ping, 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 ping. Like something's gonna be shared or it's gonna spread. It's something here about somebody's calling on their life. What did I write that down? You have a calling on your life. Heal the world, make it a better place. Help me help others, God. This is what I wrote down last night. That's what I heard right before bed. All right. And then you have the Hierophant 11, 11 on the clock. This is about somebody's calling here. Honor your intuition. Honor your feelings. Honor your calling. Okay. Somebody here is royalty or some shit. Somebody here. And when I say royalty, I don't mean like, you know, like weird, like king, queen. Type. No, I mean like it's in your bloodline to be a leader, a, 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 uh, uh, her energy shifter, but more than that, um, somebody here is supposed to change the way humanity does something or something. Okay. Looks at something, operate something. Okay. This is interesting. Tell me about making a difference. What's this miracle? Two of swords. Some of you guys could be kind of like, you might not understand completely now, but you just feel it. Like, you know that it's more to life. Like, you feel like it's something you're supposed to be doing. Right? Like, it's... it's uh, some of you guys may have to make a head like uh, or feel like you're making a head over heart choice or something. OK. Let's say, for instance, OK, how can I say this spirit? The page of Pentacles with the two of swords on the cut. Hmm. I'm telling you, and then you got the ace of cups. Follow your heart, Pisces. Follow your heart. It's not going to lead you wrong. I know logically it may not make sense for you to do this. Whatever this is, whoever I'm picking up on, it may not make logical sense for you to embark on a journey, uh, learn a new language, um, start a business, whatever it is. It's going to be different for everybody, right? Okay. All right. It may not make sense to others. Please follow your heart. Like, Somebody here is supposed to make a difference in the world. It's like at, at large, okay? Even if you making a difference in the world is one person at a time. There's is something about something spreading, okay? Something being shared, okay? Love, ninja, love. <laughs> this is the strongest weapon, <laughs> right? Making a difference. What is making a difference for Pisces? Somebody here may be called to change their hair or change their appearance or something. All right, you got the queen of wands. This is going to come. Oh, and then you, oh, more wands. More, more wands. Yo. I'm not going to take them out like how they feel. But you got the queen of wands, the um, knight of cups. <sighs> this is someone's passion this is going to be your passion this is your passion put it where it goes right because some of y'all know your calling while others of us may still be trying to figure out what we're here to do to fulfill our destiny what is this for pisces spirit what is this destiny that's making a difference for Pisces. 
something's going to set you free. Something is, and not only you, do you hear me? Something is not, you got freedom and independence. Something, you breaking away from something, breaking some sort of chain, breaking some sort of generational curse, whatever mindset, you are going to lead others into freedom as well. You understand? And even, it may not, for all of y'all, um, you know what I'm saying? It may not be that big that you're changing the whole world. But for somebody here, it's, you're, the effect is going to be felt. Even if it's just changing the way your child look at something. And then your child go out and talk to his friends. And they, you know what I'm saying? It's like a, a domino effect. The other day in the reading, the butterfly effect came up. Okay, so it's something about one ripple. Like a ripple changing the world, okay? All right, uh, yeah. <laughs> what is this spirit? Two of wands, okay, come on. Heal the world, duh, 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 duh. You see, he got the world in his hand, now the world is yours, my Pisces. Wow. Hives, okay, something about allergies, allergic reaction or something, okay. Somebody could have had an allergic reaction or something. More wands, the Knight of Wands. This feels to me like a passion. This feels to me like someone learning their passion, tapping into their creative side, uh, something that makes you happy. It gives you joy to do this thing. And if you don't know what it is yet, do what makes you happy. <laughs> Literally, right? One of the best ways to tap into what your purpose is on this earth is, first of all, what it say in the Bible? Something like, you can't enter the gates of heaven without becoming like a child. Go tap into your childlike energy. Go play, my ninja, right? I mean, if it's nothing but 15 minutes, go to the park, swing on a swing, go for a walk, talk to God, talk to the damn trees. I don't know. Talk to the elk. It's shit. <laughs> Have an imaginary friend, I'm telling you. <laughs> The gates of heaven, right? You want to enter them joints? Because what? The kingdom of heaven is within, right? First and foremost, okay? How you get there, though? Innocence. Childlike energy, right? No worries, no cares, no no stress. All that shit, right? Come on with the, what they say, the prefrontal cortex type of energy instead of all this shit in the back. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being in a reactive mode, being more in a <sighs> allowing mode, Right? It's something here. Somebody's stressing us. Oh, Lord, I'm telling you not. Somebody's stressing us something. Take a break. Take a breather. Go for a walk. Go get on a swing, my ninja. Go jump rope. I'm telling y'all. If you're trying to manifest something, especially if you're looking for something new, like you want a change in your life, you got to change shit up. When is the last time you skipped, my ninja? Go skip. <laughs> I'm telling you, this shit literally is like, a, a, it's the secret sauce in manifesting, okay? In the law of attraction, that vibration, right? Create your imaginary friend. I'm just, it's fun. It's fun. I'm just, try it. See what happens. Somebody's figuring out their passion here, though. Somebody's learning their passion. Somebody is making a, going to, or already is, making a difference in the world, Making a, it, 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 and for, it's like it's going to start off small, right? Like you'll make a difference in your neighbor's life, your child's life, your mom, your dad, your coworker. Someone here is going to see the effects that their words, your presence, your energy makes, and you're going to capitalize on that. The energy I'm picking up on right here. This is going to set you free and others free too. Telling you not make a difference, making a difference, spirit. What's going on here with Pisces, please? What is this about their destiny? Okay. I love this for you, Pisces. Five of Cups. Tell me more, spirit. The Ten of Swords. Somebody here is having a hard time changing something up. Look, look now. There he go, y'all. Coming with the doubt and the fear and the anxiety and the worry. That, you know what I'm saying? Kim, you know? Oh, you know what I'm saying? 
always coming up in our readings, but he comes with a purpose though. You know what I'm saying? To really look. You got the five of cups with the ten of swords in reverse. This is like real life. It may be painful to end some things. For some of you guys, y'all could be thinking about moving away from your, your family, your home, your hometown, right? Quitting a job, leaving a relationship, some sort of ending that you may be kind of sad about. You know what I'm saying? It brings you grief. This ending is necessary, though, to free you. You, it, it has to happen in order for you to break free and become this independent ass Pisces that's carving your own path. Somebody here is supposed to have generational wealth. Somebody here is supposed to be able to pass something down to others. It's Somebody here is super blessed. Do you understand me? Somebody here has the ability to affect others in a positive light that will bring a change about the world, now. Nah? For some of y'all, this could be like you, you don't want to leave your home, your family. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Freedom is here for you, though, Pisces. It's time to do something different. It's time to define yourself and carve your own path, bro. Real talk. Some endings will be sad. They may be painful. I just heard again, but it is necessary. Especially for some of y'all are trying to find your fire again, like that spark, that mm, that uh, inspiration, that motivation. You have to cut something off here. What is this that needs to be uh, ten of sorted? <laughs> what is this that needs Pisces attention, spirit? Please and thank you. What chain is this that needs to be broken? The king of what? <laughs> I was gonna say the king of emperor. The emperor is here, okay? All right, the number um, four. The number four, Aries energy. What is this that needs to be broken? What needs to. What chain needs to be broken? You got the knight of cups with the emperor and the death. Wow. Somebody here has... Okay, give me a moment. You know you're a leader. You know you're a boss. You know that you are in charge. Even if you are, do you feel like you're not in any, you may not be in that position right now. Somebody here knows that this is a part of you, right? I feel like I'm picking up on a, almost the same kind of energy from a previous reading, y'all. Somebody here knows. You could have really hushed yourself in life dimmed your own not you dimming your light but kind of right like not wanting to outshine other people or allowing others to be in the spotlight pisces it's your turn to be in the forefront it just is you're always the one that is allowing others to shine which is cool that's great but Honestly, what I'm feeling is your time to shine. It's your turn. Tell me more, please, Spirit. All right. For some of you guys, y'all could have had an absentee father. Okay. And for my men, okay, 
is something about you breaking chains in your family as well like um the way that masculine energy is viewed in a family okay all right it's something this is specific for my men okay it's something about you tapping into a sensitive type of energy or like okay for instance you know how most like society tell boys don't cry and shit like that like you may be the type that's like no it's okay my ninja cry Get that shit out. That shit is healthy. You know what I'm saying? That is breaking chains. You know what I'm saying? Like that is breaking old, worn out ass mindsets. And I feel like the Pisces I'm picking up on today, that is what you're here for. You are here to break old, worn out ass mindsets. Old ways of thinking, of doing. Changing the vibration, right? From lower you know <laughs> energies to a more loving harmonious type of energy tell me more about the emperor with the knight of cups please for some of y'all y'all have had hard times in love okay i heard revolving door okay Tell me more, please. What's breaking chains? Look at that. I'm telling you. The three of swords. Some of y'all have experienced major heartbreak, even from a father figure. All right. Seven of Pentacles. This has gone on through. This may have been a pattern in someone's life here major heartbreak from masculine energies or major disappointments from men okay this could eat yeah i'm just gonna nope yep i'm gonna leave it right there that's what spirit say mm -mm. tell me more please spirit what is breaking chains do you see this shit the nine of swords this is crazy breaking them chains tell me more about breaking chains chains please spirit What's the nine of swords? Damn. Justice in the reverse. And the hermit on the bottom of the deck of Aries. Libra or Virgo could be significant. You got the justice in reverse. Some of y'all have felt like shit is never going to change. Like this shit is a revolving freaking door. If you haven't already, you are definitely being called to go within. To get into a a meditative state to reflect to heal okay all right i know in most of our readings we've the healing is we've been doing it you could have also felt like or feel like somebody will never change Somebody is not being fair. Somebody isn't fair. This could even be a baby daddy, okay? Baby mama, all right? Somebody is not fair here. Somebody expects you to be the loving one all the time. Also provide something here too. Like, it's somebody here got multiple roles you have to play. Shit. And it's something about getting a balance of all those roles that you play here. I heard pliable, being pliable. Breaking the chains, freedom and the hermit. Somebody here really been going like dealing with some emotional shit here real talk mm. tell me about the transformation spirit what is this transformation for pisces the three of cups <laughs> high vibrations <laughs> okay that will bring about the transformation i'm telling you go play nah okay <laughs> The number 29 or 39 could be significant, okay? Sit, um, when I tell you what I tell you, 
I swear I'll be telling you, bruh. Six of Cups, tap into your childlike energy. This is going to help in your transformation. This is going... Y'all, I promise you, it literally helps relieve stress, right? It can help your digestive system. I'm telling you, like, go have fun, play, let your hair down. If it ain't for nothing but 15 minutes, go find a park today, okay? <laughs> go find a body of water, walk by the hoe, okay? Like, go find a forest to run around in. Go talk to the damn squirrels and birds. I'm telling you, get on some Disney type shit, yo. Real talk. <laughs> Literally, look at all. <laughs> you got the five of swords on the bottom, but look at all these cards. This is fun. This is literally fun. You got them having fun. Dude, this is a depiction of somebody having fun at work. Okay? And then you got the kids playing dress up. Like, literally, go have fun. Okay, we just had Halloween shit. If you need to go put on a damn Halloween costume and dress up or some shit. I don't know. Have a tea party. Shit, I'll come. Send me the invitation, ninja. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, spirit. How do they get to this independence? Nine of Wands. How do they get to the independence, spirit? momentum for one passion fire energy okay you have the nine of wands the knight of swords and the eight of wands give me a minute doing this pisces becoming independent breaking free from any kind of barriers here is some is somebody get, I'm telling you, it's in somebody's birth right here. Like literally to be good, to be wealthy, <laughs> to make a difference in the world, to change some shit up. Even if in the world is just generational, okay? Breaking generational curses, mindsets, old shit that has blocked things for you and possibly people in your family as well. Somebody here could feel very stretched. Even your coin, you could feel like it's stretched, like your money, like something in, in two different directions. Like, ugh. what is the um, Knight of Swords? What is this action that's needed to be taken? That's needing to be taken. Somebody here could have trust issues. Which honestly, from the look at the look of it, is valid, real talk. But you may want to really um, address those things, okay? The trust issues, like why do I have trust issues? Where does this come from? That's hermit, right? That's what hermit mode is: is going within and figuring out why you do certain things, why certain things have happened in your life. Noticing patterns, right? What keeps occurring in your life over and over? What do you keep attracting? Why do you keep attracting it? You know what I'm saying? Are you like, do you get a job and you only, you change jobs every two years or every six months, right? Do you, are you constantly in different relationships? You know what I'm saying? Is it the same damn person in a different damn body type of shit? You know what I'm saying? The same damn job in a different location type. You noticing patterns and things like that okay what's the nine of wands for a spirit please somebody could feel very very guarded right now very very guarded knight of swords i mean the king of swords on the bottom of the deck give me a second Somebody's nervous system is just, it's ready to rest. It is ready to rest.
Beavis and Butthead could be significant. <laughs> TP for my bone call. TP for my bunghole, hell no. Spirit, what is the nine of wands with the four swords, please? It's time to rest, Pisces. Something, what is this though? Because it's time for something to come in for you. But your guard is up. Because you done had all this pain and heartbreak break and dishonesty and, and uh, disappointments and empty promises and people acting. Uh, no. The nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. 99 could be significant. It's literally, it's time, it's, it's like the guardian that's what they just said again the guardian like wanting to bring in this whatever this is right wanting to bring something in for you are you ready to receive it though or do you have your guard up it's something about trust here like literally literally okay Somebody here is supposed to be like set. You're supposed to be good. This is literally somebody here is supposed to be working or operating in their passion and making a difference for others. What action is needed here from Pisces? Take small steps to nurture yourself. All right. Take small steps to nurture yourself to begin this 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 journey of freedom. You're being called to it. Something has to rest though. Something like it's 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 done. This uh, era, this this uh, this chapter, this is done. And it's time to literally, where is that? Transformation. It's literally time. Give me a second. You have support in areas you don't even realize you may not even know of yet all right pisces please continue to move forward my love all right okay protect your energy but also learn how to trust okay some about trust here learning how to trust i hope this message met you where it needed to i hope that you're feeling wonderful i love you so much and i will see y'all in the next video bye pisces